I have to point out to the to the listeners because it's actually not very far from where we're based and where we're uh, very far from where we're broadcasting. So I think people would be interested. I really don't like what they've done in Queen Street with all the in the road. With all the flower pots in the in practically oh. in the middle of the road, I hate it. Oh, why is that? I really don't like it because it because it looks it just doesn't look it doesn't look very nice for a start. And for, for someone like for someone like me or me and Chris, or um, well, say a bit more, just describe. Some, for some for people like me and Chris, for people that are in wheelchairs, it could be you know it's 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 something to navigate around. It's something that we can easily bump into. And for somebody that is completely blind with a long cane, it would let people know. But it's just it would let them know that they're that they're there, obviously, because the cane would hit it first. Um, but. I I I think it I think it I think it is um it's a hindrance and I uh, it wouldn't surprise me if orientation or orientation and mobility officers complain about that to the council because if I if I was a mobility officer um I would complain about it because I think I think it could be a hindrance to to wheelchair user wheelchair users and blind people specifically. So do you, do you think it's a benefit to being less traffic? Well, possibly, but they could have quite easily just put bumps in the middle. They, they could have just quite easily put bumps down to 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 stop that. Okay. Uh, I just I just don't like the look of the plants in the, in the road like that. I I don't think it looks very um I don't think it looks very good look. You know, it's not very it doesn't look very nice. And like I've just explained, it can be a hindrance. It could be a hindrance. Okay. I remember they'd done a uh, a couple of years, well, several years ago now. I think they've got, I think they've gone now. Uh, It was actually when I was on a mobility lesson, I actually picked up on it. And my mobility teacher said we had, uh, they did complain about them, but what they used to have in the middle of Princess Hair, they used to have like these, like these stone things that you could potentially sit on, but they just used to hinder uh, um, uh, bl- uh, blind people with long canes, and it would be quite difficult for wheelchair users to navigate around as well. So did they remove those eventually? Um, eventually, yes. So it does. It do, they are um, Exeter City Council. I would say are uh, are normally are normally quite understanding. Um, once, 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 uh, some somebody like an orientation mobility officer uh, makes a complaint like that, um, they they are willing to listen, like uh, any council would be in the UK, because if you make a complaint about the pavements, they are normally quite um, willing to listen to you about that as well. I, I, but all I'm saying about those plants in. In the middle of the road, yes, they slow down the traffic. There's less traffic, but I just think they look ugly and they could be a hindrance. That's all I wanted to say. Okay, well, we'll we'll try and find out what what other people think. <sighs> yeah, I mean, and, uh, so, after so the coffee, go. if you if you're walking up that way, I can show you can see we can have a look at them. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll have a look at them and we'll we'll put some photographs on W E N O T N O on our Twitter feed. Yeah, and we'll we'll. Tweet to Exeter City Council, and we'll see. I don't want. I don't want to complain about them. I'm not going to complain about them, John. Because, I'm, I'm going to because, ask, the, I'm because going to ask I've got their no, point of view. I've got no clout, but I just don't like. I just don't think they look very nice. No, okay. Well, That's John, all. you said that. Yeah, well, John, look. I mean, Phonic FM. Sorry, we, we don't. We haven't. We haven't mentioned enough. What the, what station we're on? We're we're on Phonic FM 106.8 FM in the Exeter area, and. Uh, you can listen to us uh, out of, outside of the Exeter area on uh, phonicfm.com. No, phonic.fm. Phonic.fm, sorry. <coughs> so if you're outside of the Exeter area, you can listen to us um, on the internet, at phonic.fm. Or if you're in the Exeter area, you can listen to us on, um, radi- on the radio at phonic. Uh, 106.8 FM. And um, just in just in case somebody from Exeter City Council is listening, 
I'm, I'm definitely going to get their point of view, John. You've yes. had your say. Yes. I think they should have their their effort to uh, explain themselves. Sure. If you if you want to start a stir, be my guest. I'm not stirring up. I'm the constructive, polite, and positive one. <laughs>